What's up guys, we are here with SPL Sunday, some Auris OU got Axel 10 versus uh, Genesis 7. I don't remember if this is a rematch, but this is the Scooters versus the Bigs and the scores, I think, I think it's 4 and 2 with, uh, two and 4, I don't remember which team was in the front. I just remember there was a Gen 1 game, like just that just happened, between Alexander and someone. So we see um, Axel 10 bring a Mega Scissor like bulky offense type of team. Genesis got that Medicham we were looking kind of. Actually, I forgot to put music in the back. What is the music not playing? My bad, guys. Okay, now you have music. If this is Poison Jab, that might actually kill, but. I don't think anything else can kill the Clefable. Like it also, I don't also, also I don't think it can kill if the Clefus makes defense. But um, some clever one like more fist, uh, more mixed defensive or more speed def in ours. So this is uh, either Rocks Clef and Axel Ten and Bantar or something like that. We call it to be Rockstar, but I think it's like Bantar on this team. Unless um. Like if he specs kill you, okay, good for the head button. Medicham just dies, so I don't know if I agree with taking the Medicham turn two. Um, maybe he was banking on Axel going for Stealth Fox or knockoff or something, but I don't really get that play. Um, oh, he crit. Did that crit matter? Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm. I actually didn't pay attention. Yeah, Genesis said says it. Said it hits himself. It was a risky play. So, and he has the flamethrower too. Oh my god! And he gets the burn X. Okay, this is this is this sucks. Like, like what I was thinking is, yeah. Even though he could have flamethrower, I still don't think. There's no way he would have flamethrower last turn. Is what I'm trying to say. So he could have pivoted from Feral to something, but not, not really. He doesn't have the best answers for this clef. Oh boy. Kalio kinda goes in on Genesis team like With Pharaoh's on being that low his only other war resists for a choice like Kelio is like uh, Lari and Pharaoh. Uh Lari and Kelio. Which like Lari Like you already know what's gonna happen. Like Skull is a good move, you just spam Skull, Lari gets burned. You don't even have to ice even predict that thing. <laughs> and he has a teacher and a scissor to keep the Lari in check really, really well. Yeah, he got up the rocks, so his rocks, flames from Moomba, soft boiled. And this is um, probably lead sheet to wave on it, spikes, ferrothorn. So Axel is trying to be as healthy as possible here. Get some parrot there, I guess it's some justice for Genesis, so you can get up some habits here. Uh, let me actually see if my voice... No. My voice might be super low because this recording program is weird. I've been switching between recording programs. <coughs> I wanted to just f uh, record, like, don't really download OBS because my OBS was, like, acting weird. But then this game just started, so I didn't have the time to do that. <coughs> I wanna try to get all the Sun Moon and all those games on this Sunday, um, if I'm gonna be able to. All of them is black and white Ubers yesterday. Oh, I also watched NJMP's OST game, but I didn't record it. I watched it live, but it was 6 a.m. my time, and I was super tired. It was such a cool game, I should have recorded it. Cool, cool series. <coughs> but I almost fell asleep <laughs> at my computer, so there was no way I was recording. So yeah, at least Pharaoh gets up all three layers of spikes, so let me see how Genesis can win. Actually, he doesn't win this at all. Um, we will can be a threat, but with with spikes up. But there's still a Kelly on the scissor. So this could be, um, actually it's not Scarf Land, it's Rock's Land, obviously. Like, he didn't have double hazards on Pharaoh, so this is the Rock, so he's getting Rocks up, I think, yeah. So uh, he's hazards taking extra 10. So 
So I think we see like um the slam is probably on Stone Edge because we are we are in auras here the Talon Flame is a threat. We are not in a Sun and Moon, so I don't think if X of Ten can afford to nasty plot up on this, so I think he has to just just go for the hidden power eyes. Like if Genesis like what does Genesis even do? Like if he goes into Kelly, I guess Kelly is a threat kind of if it comes in and in but but that's only if it's Scarf Kalio, so okay, he gets the roll. It's not Life Orb. It's not like Gen yeah, it's not like Genesis could have gonna kill you because Samus outspeeds that unless it's Scarf. And even if it's Scarf Kalio, which it could be, which it could be because his team is not that fast. But it's also always always is not that fast compared to Sun and Moon anyways, like the meta game. So two KOs, at least Genesis hit his Stone Edge. Um this is an Aisha range now. I don't think of the way he switches out because this uh, dies to rocks. So there's no no really a point in saving this and potentially getting crit by s um, by the Weavile, switching to Scizor Kelio. So yeah, just goes for the Ice Shard in case uh, Axel Ten has a Prankster T Wave. So I can bring out his um, Clefable or his Ladia Scizor here. Clefable is too risky though, because he can get power flinched, so... I feel like... Okay, he goes Scizor. I thought Kelly would have been an option here. Yeah. So that's fine too. So the bullet punch is like really obvious here. Uh, he can also go for Roost. Um, I'm still waiting for the day that we see like HP fire we all, but I don't think that's even a set because like that's only a set in like draft league form maybe specifically or like the the we with the berry that makes the natural gift uh, fire berry thing, but yeah he already saw it's life of we so it's obviously not that set and yeah that's more of a gimmick thing that you just want to use if you already know your opponent is bringing the scissor and you want to lure it with your we in the league format. So Obi, uh, uh, not Obi. His sister is called Obi. Excellent team goes for a U-turn. But yeah, Obi is on his team, is what I'm trying to say, on his SPL team. If if I recall correctly, I actually don't remember that well. Yeah, I think he is. So he gets the momentum here, which is nice for him, because like Genesis has no switches for Draco Meteor slash T-Bolt or Thunder, but I don't think they run that. Like, I think he's just gonna go for Draco. Uh, he can also go for Psychic, but then he risks the Weaver coming in, so Draco has to play all the time. Yeah, exactly. And just uh, Devo, yeah, Devo is also a good player. I didn't think about that. I just thought he wanted to take the kill. Like I guess now he's getting pursued, right? So if he wants to predict the pursuit, he can stay in. Uh, like this video would make sense to have pursued because it's only switching the Lattice Pharaoh Zone, which I feel like gets bopped by HP Fire. I don't even know if they run it in OS anymore. It's very really not that common, but like what I'm trying to say is only like defensive pivot is uh, yeah okay. I might have stayed in there breaking the pursuit, but I get his play also trying to save the the laddie because like in technically he had some switches in Scizor and Kalia slash Clef, which you don't want to want to bring out because like I already said it's paralyzed can get powerful inch. It's not reliable to uh, beat the wheel. It's not doesn't really reliably beat the wheel at this point. Uh, so yeah, we will probably see the scissor come out here, and the scissor can just go for roost slash bullet punch. Uh, yeah, I think roost, right? Like I guess you can keep up offensive momentum in U-turn, but did he did U-turn again? Yeah, he just roosted this one. Like, I think that's not necessary to U-turn there. That's a bit wild. I understand the U-turn pair though. Um, looking back at it to get off the defog, that was clutch. If he stayed in, I don't know if it's Lottie would have lifted the pursuit. I think it could have lifted. So this is um I don't think it's spec scale here because it only did 47. Yeah, in the yeah, Genesis has to like crit everything with the scale here. Yeah, the jet is get this many set in the chat scarf scale here. Like, there's no way that specs. I don't know why I was like. Not sure I did at first. 
This is a pretty free um for Axel Sand you can like click Secret Sword slash Hydro Pump slash Gold. Like I don't think that uh, I don't think Genesis is staying in anyway. This is basically his only way of beating the scissor after that he doesn't have HP fire, so yeah, he just plays it safe. I feel like he could have afforded to skull there. But this is fine, like you can go to Tita here or you can uh Go to Clef, kinda. If you want to build uh, Draco or Surf, you can go to Clef. Um, I mean, I feel like he can just go Tita. I don't think he loses anything. But he makes the Clef play. Because, yeah, exactly. Genesis could double into we were with, with low kick. Potential low kick we were predicting the, predicting the Tita. But I don't think he has low kick. Like, he doesn't have low kick. He has Ice Shell Pursuit. That set doesn't have low kick. They're gonna knock off an Icicle Crash. I, I'm pretty sure. So Tita could have lived the hit anyway, but um, I guess Genesis, Genesis still had to make that play to get the... Yeah, I think it's actually a rematch, didn't Axel 10 time not the last time they played each other? I think so, yeah. I, I, I think they had, like, Axel uh, was opponent had another king, I don't remember. So he's going for the flinch now. They actually didn't do much, that defensive clef, yeah, gets the flinch. But, like, Tita would have lived any hit from the from the Wii World, so... Even if he, like... When we um, teach that there, unless he got flinched, I don't think Axel would have lost much. Because the laddie still doesn't win. Uh, the laddie still doesn't win. Like, it would have to be HP fire and to kill the scissor. And there's also still Clef, which would have to get paralyzed for the laddie to beat him when we won. Actually, um, yeah. I guess Psychic got, might might do a lot to the Clef with Fist Death. Or I don't even know if the laddie turns Sasha or Psychic in late or less. So he goes for the Moonblast there, not trying to risk more flinches, gets it off, amazing for him and his team. And he just sacked the, he just sacked the Clef here, right? He just sacked the Clef and then you bring him, you and Kalio. And you should wrap it up from there. I mean, he got, he got some hacks in the beginning. His Clef got flinched once, but I think the hacks was still in, uh, slightly in Exultan's favor. Yeah, advantage that Clef is well trained. I mean, yeah, of course, he's also a side of prom, but he can also go to his own Keldeo after. Like, why would he not go to Keldeo? Does it even matter if he does he even have to predict the ladder here is what I'm trying to say? Cause if the ladder comes in on a, um, on a secret sword, which it does, um Axelton still has all the tools like I think he's just going to If you can teach out, is that a potential, is that a potential losing play? Let me think. So yeah, he doesn't go to Tita because like, this should be a ball launch range now, right? And Tita lives ahead from Kelly besides Crit, and if Kelly goes for the, wait, Kelly can spam secrets or no? But yeah, Axel's Axel's Kelly lifts a secret sword from the opposing Kelly. So I guess if the secret sword can crit, um, so Genesis can still win it, right? Like, yeah, he's obviously gonna bullpen. She's like a scissor, and then nah, never mind, never mind. This is scarf Kelly. His Kelly even lifts Axel's Kelly even lifts a crit, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, Axel just wins. Um, yeah, that did nothing. Yeah, could wouldn't have killed. What am I saying? That did zero. Axel then takes the um, the game 
well um yeah i guess my analysis were not that good in this one i just woke up like two or three hours ago and i haven't eaten yet let me let me let me um look up the thread for you guys oh uh, i actually see that the red has won uh won a game in adv so they won five now so if bkc can win in the all the Senate mooners can win i can actually anti-decay they can actually bring it back And yeah, we usually see the series. It's two and four between the bigs and the scooters. Before there's an exit and just one, so it's two and five. Looking looking good for the scooters. Partial was the sauna later. I'm pretty sure the next game is gonna be the, the Eternal Spirit one, which should be in like 30 minutes. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm definitely trying to catch that live for you guys, hopefully. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Which signing out. Peace, friends.